Hey guys! So today I wanted to show you a super cute idea to do with your guests if you're having upcoming parties or if you have kids at your home or kids visiting um, and you want to do this with them instead. I'm sure they're going to love it. I'm going to do this with my kids this year when we do hot chocolate. We're going to do a caramel apple charcuterie board. So when I hear charcuterie board, I immediately think fancy, entertaining, um, it has to be perfect kind of thing. And that is not in any way the case. Okay. Charcuterie board is a lovely thing to have when entertaining. They're absolutely um, fun and everyone loves to dig in. There's always a little something for everyone. So these um, caramel apple charcuterie boards that I'm going to show you how to make today, you can make a boozy version for adults or obviously a sober version for children. Please don't confuse the two. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing them at the same time. Obviously keep your children away from the boozy apples if you choose to do that. So the way that you do the boozy apples is that you take one of these. I have them on my site. If you don't have one and you want to order one, you can use my link. It's not this one. Um, this is one that I've had for years and years. I haven't replaced it yet, <laughs> but this is an old one. So anyway, you're going to slice your apples. If you don't have one of these, you don't want one of these, you're not interested, then um, use a knife. Okay. It's, that's fine. Use what you have. So you're going to slice your apples up. Okay. Got to get the core out there. You're going to slice your apples up like so. I have lots of these. You're going to put them in a cup or a glass bowl with a cup of vodka. Leave them in there for an hour and let them soak. That's how you get boozy apples. These are not going to be boozy apples. They're going to be sober apples. So what I did was I melted some caramel. I'm hoping for the sake of this video that it stays melted even though I'm outside. Um, <laughs> but I melted some caramel, put it in a container. Now I have some sliced apples. So it's already starting to come together. I'll show you here. Do, 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 do. So you can see a little bit. So I took some mini chocolate chips and put it in a little ramekin that I had. Again, super cute, right? I'm going to take my food chopper and chop up some pecans because I think that would be fun. You can use whatever kind of nuts you want or no nuts at all. Totally up to you. A couple chops with the food chopper. And then I'm going to dump it in a cute glass that I got on a after Christmas sale a year ago at Target. Okay. So it doesn't have to be super expensive. You don't have to be a millionaire to make a charcuterie board. Um, you can, you know, improvise, use what you have on hand and be creative here and still have a ton of fun. Okay. So super cute. I don't have a million ramekins, so I use what I had, right? To make it cute and special. I use a coffee mug and put some shredded coconut in there because that's another fun idea. Um, anything that you can like dip and it would be super cutesy. Put some Christmas sprinkles in here. Again, I didn't put a whole ton in here because for the sake of this video, I don't need a whole lot. <laughs> but um, if you, you know, depending on how many people you have coming, um, who's going to be enjoying it, probably waiver what you decide to put on the board and always add more or less. I'm also using my Pampered Chef um, pizza peel as you saw when I showed it to you a couple seconds ago. Here's the other cool thing, right? So if you're doing this with adults, wooden skewers are probably the cutest bet, um, the nicest thing to do. Uh, if you are doing this for kids, I am very sure that they don't care at all what you use to put the apples on. So I brought out a few different options. I'm slicing up some more apples so you can really get the feel for it. And here we go. Ugh. All right. So we're gonna do that. Okay. So we just have tons of stuff on here for right now. Obviously you can add more, you can add less depending on what you want. Super cute. So um, for the kids, you can use a fork 
if you want to. <laughs> that works fine. Take one of your apples. Fork it, right? That works. Or you can use corn cup holders, right? Lots of people just have these laying around. Why not? Obviously, be careful. They're sharp. You have kids. You don't want them to hurt themselves. So always, always, always be around, especially when your kids are using something smart. Okay, let's not get kids hurt in the making of yummy snacks. Um, something else you can do instead of wooden skewers if you don't have them, toothpicks. Tried and true, they work great. See, do 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 do, little hors d'oeuvre kind of charcuterie board. So, here it is. I want to show it to you so you can get a good look. What's going on here? Eat. So this is my charcuterie board. I have caramel, chocolate, coconuts, nuts, sprinkles, just tons of fun stuff. So you can take take one, dip it in my caramel that's already starting to get hard because I'm outside, dip it in the chocolate, dip it in the coconut, whatever you want to do. Obviously, my caramel got hard while I was making this video, but the idea you can see you can see how it all comes together so i just wanted to share this with you it's just a cute fun idea to do with your kids again with your adult guests and again if you want to make these boozy go ahead you can soak them in alcohol and vodka for an hour um, and then take them out dry them off a little bit with a paper towel and have at it um, obviously if you want to warm up more caramel that would probably be a better idea I did not use a lot for this video again and I'm outside where it's like 30 degrees so it got hard very quickly um, but something to keep in mind if you're doing it with the kids you're trying to make a small amount it might not work out so well if you don't use a whole lot because it will start to get hard so all right that's what we learned today I just wanted to show you guys how to do like a little cute caramel apple charcuterie board and have fun so Take care out there. See you guys next time. Bye.